Hello guys, how's it going? I hope you're all keeping really well. I've got a very simple video for you today, basically. It's just an unboxing of a product that's been sent over for a long-term review by the very kind folks over at 365 Astronomy. I do have an affiliate link available for them, so if you want to show them some support for the support that they've shown me, then please do go ahead and use those. It would be greatly appreciated, guys. Now, what we've got to take a look at today is the ZWO AM5 and the TC40 tripod. And as usual, as uh, is always the case on my channel, this has all been provided with my usual review terms. So I get to do what I want, say what I want, test exactly how I want, so I can give you the best possible review that I'm capable of giving. Uh, the review will not be coming in this video because I simply don't have any mileage with this mount whatsoever. I haven't taken it out of the box. So until I actually know what I'm looking at and I know how it works, uh, I will have to withhold on doing a review. But still, it's not every day you get to unbox something as nice as this. So I thought, why not do it with you guys on camera? Because it's thanks to you that I actually can do this at all. So uh, let's just dive in. All I've done is cut the tape. That's heavier than expected. Wow. Okay, so full color box to start with. Uh, yeah, just hold this up to the camera a sec. ZWO AM5. Printed on all sides. Nice. Not the box above it about though, is it? Let's be, let's be real. <laughs> let's get into it. So I'm gonna pull this out, okay, so we're bagged up. A strap, carry strap, I assume, for the, um, the actual car luggage case, if you will, that this thing is held in. Wow, that's heftier than I thought. It's uh, it's not a very big mount. It's kind of diminutive in stature, but seems to be a hefty unit. Now I've just noticed. I've seen this on other people's unboxings. A test card, and it looks like if I just hold this up to the camera. It looks like I have a very good one indeed. If you can see on the camera right there, if I'm not reading this wrong, this is less than five arc seconds of periodic error above and below. That's a really small periodic error on this mount. I think it's more, more common to see a bit bigger than that. So maybe this is a very good unit. Oh dear, that's gonna, that's gonna sting if I have to send this thing back. I would uh, I would like to save my pennies I think actually and uh, and buy this rather than sending it back after review most likely as I really do need a portable mount once again. Uh, I do miss getting outside. Uh, having an observatory has made me lazy for want of a better word. <laughs> Quite simply, why well, gloss over it? Uh, so anyway, the first thing I'm going to take a look at the AMH, that's the handset for control of this thing. It's a little bit like a uh, like a VR headset controller, actually, if you've ever you've tried those. It's got two face buttons and literally a joystick. And it is important you keep this and don't just kind of leave it <laughs> just to one side because this mount has no clutches. So if you want to move it around, you're going to have to use either that handset or software control from something like an ASIR or Nina or whatever else you want to use. You can't just undo clutches and start turning it. Now this thing's welded into this box. So I'm gonna pull out the mount, make sure there's nothing else in here, and there is. <coughs> A uh, USB, I always get these mixed up. A to B cable, you can just see right there. A couple of Allen keys and actually room for a couple more Allen keys should you need to support some more. Now this case, before I put this case away, is actually a really nice unit. I love this design on the front. I remember when ZWO were gonna come out with these things. Actually, they hosted a competition and they had people on the Facebook group um, kind of submitting, and I think a worthy winner emerged there. Now, I'll just as you can see, my observatory is a total mess. I am running out of room, but I'm doing my best, guys. Bear with me. Um, let's get this out of the bag. Wow. Oh, okay, that is really nice. It's one thing seeing it in people's videos and stuff like that, and I've seen one 
won before in person on a showroom floor at um, IAS in 2022, I do believe. But man, seeing it in your own environment, take a look at that thing. It is. It is actually a work of art. That is a beautiful mount. What a lovely thing. Um, so one important thing, by the way, I am going to touch upon this straight away. Rather than going into any great details, you have a DC in right here. We also have a DC out on this mount, which is really cool. If you can see that right there. That's going to be really useful if you're trying to power something like an ASI Air from this thing and, you know, keep cable mess to an absolute minimum. Now, I want to take a little bit of a look at this saddle. So I'll just come up here next to the camera if I can, uh, if you can see. So it's a dual clamp on the saddle. Try not to get in your shadow. <laughs> and these things are really nice, smooth adjustments. They won't mar your dovetails or anything like that as there's literally no bolt heads or anything like that to get in the way. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm actually dead impressed. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this nice, guys. I, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit lost for words, <laughs> rather embarrassingly. You know, I'm supposed to be uh, on YouTube here making a go of this. And I can't think what to say other than wow. Let's get into this TC40 anyway. TC40 carbon fiber tripod. Portable, stable, durable. <laughs> Quite the tagline. I do believe it, however, as these carbon tripods really are stable. So let's take a little bit of a look inside. All right. Wow, that thing is so light. Jeez Louise. All right. All right, so the tripod's out. It looks like it comes with a sling attachment and a pack full of bolts and some more Allen keys. I'm not gonna waste time with that right now. Huge foam covers on the legs. So your know, hands aren't gonna stick to them on a freezing cold night. Wow. <laughs> what a footprint. That's really small when it's uh, actually set up at its lowest. So let's open it up to its maximum a second. So it literally doubles the height of the tripod. Lovely big rubber bumpers on these. So if you're putting it down on a flagged surface or something like that, like I used to set up on, you aren't gonna leave dirty great scratches all over things, which is nice to see. This top plate's machining is fabulous. It really is. And it's also linked to a spreader. Okay, so that's the spreader tight and that's extremely stiff i'm impressed i really am impressed guys that's a far cry from the the great big metal tripods that used to come with eq6s which is a, actually i've still got one in the observatory for anybody who doesn't know uh, my old first eq6 and it still works great to this day but this thing can hold just as much weight and can be picked up like that. I've, I've, I mean, things are moving on. Clearly they are. Um, phenomenal. Anyway, listen, I can't wait to get this thing properly set up and actually get it out underneath the skies uh, because what this represents to me is more than just a really pretty device. It actually represents a bit of freedom, to be honest, to get out of the observatory and enjoy myself underneath the actual sky itself once more. I, uh, I do have already a, a very small star tracking mount, but it's very limiting with what you can actually put on the thing. So um, this is going to open up a, a new realm of possibility for me a little bit. I can put quite a lot of payload on this. If I opted for the, uh, the counterweight system as well, you can hold up to 20 kilograms on this thing, which initially I was skeptical of, but now I've got it in my hands. I can understand. It's very solidly built. Yeah. Anyway, guys, listen, I said I'm going to keep it simple and I am. So that is about it from me. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you ever so much. In fact, for all the support that you've given, it's got me to this point where I'm able to do these kind of reviews, unboxings, just making fun content, spending time with you and uh, making a 
you know, making effectively my career out of something I love doing. Not many people get to say that they can do that. And my word, am I thankful to you guys for that opportunity. Um, special thanks as well, as always, 365 Astronomy for sending this thing out for long-term review. I am looking forward to getting to know it better. Uh, I'd love if you have any tips for me or anything, which might save me some headaches, uh, leave them down below. I would be very grateful indeed. So that's about it. Thank you ever so much for watching. I, uh, I will see you in the next one. So until then, hopefully, clear skies.